Hey Colts, it's Mrs. Haladin here with your weekly announcements for the week of October 17th. I'm hanging out on campus uh, on a bench enjoying the beautiful afternoon sunshine. Uh, some exciting news for everybody. Our library is back open, and we're so excited about that. Miss Espinoza is our new librarian, and even though you might not see her in person this school year, she is around making sure that our library is well stocked, and she is ready to start checking books out to students. So if you're interested in checking out a book or browsing the book stacks online, you can go to Clever, and then you can click on this new link in Clever called the LCES Library. You can see that yellow, sorry, blue arrow pointing to the yellow box. And that's where you can go to learn all about how to check out a book and make arrangements to do so. So check it out and look forward to meeting Miss Espinoza soon. I think we'll do a little introduction of her in the next couple of weeks. This week, we have a few special birthdays to celebrate. So help me celebrate the birthdays of Ashlyn D., Gabriel P., Chloe S., Joshua K., Chloe F., Caitlin R., Sally W, Madison V, Wyatt D, and Benjamin Q. Help me join them or help me celebrate them with a sparkler cheer. I'm going to put this down and sparkler on three. One, two, three. All right. Happy birthday, Colts. All right, let's take a trip to the Colt neighborhood and see what Miss St. John has in store for us this week. Last year, we talked a little bit about social distancing, but this week, we're going to go back and check out her super neat uh, self-regulation bulletin board. So, Mrs. St. John? Good morning from the neighborhood, and welcome back. Last week, we learned about personal space between ourselves and other people. This week, we're going to talk about how to pay attention to how our bodies are telling us how we feel. A couple weeks ago, we talked about identifying feelings. We identified feeling words such as happy, sad, silly, angry. Now I'm wondering, how do we know when we're happy? How do we know when we're sad? How do we know that we're feeling silly or angry? The answer to those questions is that we pay attention to the sensations in our body. Sensations are physical feelings we have inside and outside our bodies. So cold, sweaty, strong, those are all examples of sensations. So we're gonna practice feeling sensations. So I want you to put your hands together and we're gonna rub our hands together as quickly as we can for 30 seconds. Ready, go. Keep going, we're almost there. Okay, now stop and pay attention to what you feel in your hands. Are they hot? You feel heat or tingling? Do the hand muscles in your hands feel tired? Those are all sensations. And our sensations are just like our feelings. They're changing all the time. So we're gonna go through a couple of examples of how we might feel different sensations with different feelings. So for example, if I'm feeling proud, my mind might be full of thoughts of accomplishment. My eyes might be bright and my mouth is smiling. My heart's beating calmly and my muscles are relaxed. My stomach is relaxed and my feet and legs are firmly, firmly planted into the ground. Compared to when I'm feeling confused, my head might be full of thoughts of questions and not understanding. My eyebrows are furrowed. My jaw is tight and clenched. My heart might be beating quickly. My muscles are tense and my shoulders might be raised up. My stomach muscles are tight and tense, and maybe my foot is tapping and jittery. So that's how we know how we're feeling. The sensations in our body are different with the different feelings. So as you go through this week, practice paying attention to sensations in your body and how they go along with different feelings that you're experiencing. So that is all for now from the neighborhood. Until next time, have a great week. All right, let's give her a roller coaster of appreciation. Ready? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Woo! All right, thanks, Miss St. John.
All right, friends, it's a short week for the announcements. That's all I've got for you this week. Have a wonderful week. Uh, Work hard, do your best wherever you're learning from, and we'll see you soon. Take care.